everybody. Welcome back to LT Kids Lunch Break. So excited to have you with us again. So hopefully you all did the different gifts lesson and talked about the various gifts that each of you have. Because again, the Lord created each of us differently. We're all beautifully and wonderfully made. And then this Sunday, our next lesson, we are going to talk about uh, Jesus' appearance. What the heck happened? after the empty tomb so they went to the tomb it was empty he is risen he's risen what happened where'd he go what did he do where is he now so jesus appearance is what we are going to be talking about this coming sunday and speaking of appearance we have someone appearing with us today miss susie hi everybody we're so happy to be here we miss you we can't wait to get to do all these things for you and that you can see us and try some of them yourself at home so okay so today we have something special so jesus uh the tomb was empty that was a miracle so we have kind of a little um experiment that we are gonna do to talk about uh the miracle and how that happened so we have these things that right here they're called fruities uh they're special miracle fruities little miracle uh fruits and we're gonna first we're gonna taste a lemon okay ready susie taste a lemon <laughs> I don't know if you guys like lemon. I'm not a big straight lemon fan, but okay. Let's, Lemonade let's with sugar it. in it? Yeah, with sugar. <laughs> but oh, right. that's great. So taste it. So, oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's tart. And that's kind of like Good Friday, where it was like, oh, hard to taste, right? Because Jesus had died. But then the miracle happened when he rose again. So we're going to try these little miracle fruities. We are going to each create our own little animal. So, as we talked about, the Lord created us each differently with different gifts. What are your gifts, Susie? Hospitality, um, joy, love. Teaching. Teaching. You have the gift of teaching, yes. What are some of your gifts? Oh, that's a darn good question. <laughs> Don't you just love being put on the spot for those? Uh, yeah, uh, administration. Every time I do an impact study or a gift study, it always comes back the same, administration. So I, I know that's my gift. Crafts are not, but that's okay. So, okay, Susie and I are each going to create our own animals, which you can do at home also. So we have these little things. Yeah, we have little, we each have little animals. And so we can show how there can be one creator so like I'm going to create mine, Susie's going to create hers, but different um, results. Just like God created each and every one of us, each and every thing and being on the planet, in the air, in the sea, and they're all different. So did you guys learn how each of your family members are different? Did you find things you might have in common with your mom, but not your dad? or your brother, or your sister, or grandma and grandpa. You can even look at just you and maybe your brother or your sister. Some of you have dark hair, and some of you have light hair, but you're still brother and sister. But we all had the same wonderful maker, and that was God. And he gave us each special different gifts so that we would be a blessing to all of those in our lives. But sometimes God gives us gifts that, that we don't necessarily know. And we have to see how things turn out. So if somebody keeps telling you, hey, you're really good at putting on shows or making people feel welcomed or different things like that, you need to listen to some of that stuff that people are telling you because those are hints to you as to what God has made good good in you that you are good at. And you know what, parents are really good at this, right? Have you ever had a mom or dad tell you, oh, you're very creative, or maybe you didn't realize you were. Oh, you're very insightful. I know teaching my son, uh, I've taught four of my sons at home, and it's very interesting to see them pick up on things and see how intuitive each of them could be that maybe they, they didn't see themselves. So we all have different gifts. So here's my different animals. So see how one creator could possibly create different animals or different beings, and each one would have a different gift. This one has big eyes, this one has a toothy grin, 
This one has a jester hat, so he's kind of funny. Maybe the gift of comedy. So you guys can make your own animals or creatures of any kind at home. Just get a piece of paper like we did. You can draw, you can color, you can do um, paints. You can use clay, use Play-Doh or clay and sculpt different things. So you as one creator can create different beings and give them each different gifts. So when God makes us, he has like on our little sheets, all different choices of things he can give each of them but he created all of them to look different, to look differently. Okay, let's try our miracle and see if our miracle worked. So now when we taste the lemon, it should taste differently. Ready? Mmm, it tastes like there's sugar on it. Now it tastes like lemonade. It does. It Sugary like lemonade. Lemon candy. So we had our miracle happen and just like um, in our lesson this Sunday, you will get to read all about the miracle of Jesus appearing. And Jesus not only appeared to his disciples, but he also ate with them like we just ate together today. So thank you. Don't forget to download the lesson and do it together with your family. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.